Today is like a cheat day. <laughs> so, mm, many people believe that when you don't eat, you are going to have ulcer. Well, while that may have a little bit of truth in it, it is not a direct cause of ulcer. Um, one of the major causes of ulcer is an infection of the stomach lining by a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori. It is also an infection of the first part of the small intestine called the duodenum. So this bacteria is gotten from contaminated food, contaminated water. So when people drink it over long periods of time, one might actually get infected by this bacteria. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now that one goes into the stomach lining on the intestine and makes its way into the muscle, forms a wound. And then of course, what do you have? By the time acid is produced for digestion of food, acid and wound is a no-no extremely painful now one of these kinds of ulcers which is the gastric ulcer the one that happens in the stomach is worsened when a person eats food because acid is produced more in order to digest the food so the patient is actually scared of eating then the second one is the um the duodenal ulcer when the food starts entering the first part of the intestine that one gets better with food so the patient actually um wants to eat in order to kill off the pain because when the food is coming in with acid the first part of the duodenum is alkaline acid and alkaline is neutral so the pain goes away so that's the reason why that's saying of ah don't eat uh, if you don't eat you are going to have ulcer all those kind of things now when someone has not eaten and the person already has established ulcer the pain is actually worse the pain is actually worse because the acid that will be produced in times of hunger during various times of the day would irritate that wound. Now, there's another one, there's another one called.